Leave it to Beaver. What do you think of when you think of the 50s? I'm going to guess the homemaker mom who bring home the bacon dad and their two silly children with their little shenanigans that still get them home by the time the street lights are on. Just like how it looks, those living in the 50s grew up and may even still possess highly conservative views. And Jerry Mathers as the beaver. So what do you disagree about most with your grandmother? Um, I think just how we view other people. I mean, she's really critical of anyone that's different than her, whereas I'm, I don't, I've always been taught by just friends and other people that to be accepting of others for who they are, no matter how different they are, or their different viewpoints or something, she just can't accept something that's not her or what she views as something that's perfect. After a decade of this almost freakishly cheery lifestyle with the alleged ideal American family appearing on every channel, what was the response of all those emotionally oppressed teens and young adults? now teens and adults, are rejecting all the values their parents had lived by. The 60s were a time of free love to one and all. After a decade of crew cuts, Sunday school, and don't talk to strangers, we've now got a generation of people fighting the norms of society. When she's ten feet tall. Yeah, and I know her senior prom, instead of getting dates, they didn't go and they all went and had a big girls night out at some restaurant and just got like dressed up and fancy and whatever. My dad had really long hair and he really, I don't know, my mom says he wasn't as like hardcore or hardcore as yeah, he thinks he was and um, he wanted like mad tattoos and all this stuff. Now, as the ultra-liberal Generation X begins to grow old and settles down as their parents did after World War II, we note that the pattern continues as a whole new generation comes about. It's the generation raised by the ones that shook the world. It is Generation Y. What's your name? Star. Oh, you folks too, huh? What do you mean? Egg sippies. I came this close to being called Moonbeam or Moonchild. Something like that. Nicknamed the Net Generation, Generation Y has lived through and with technical advances never before seen. If you've got grandparents like mine, you may hear them say something like, kids these days are too busy being raised by the internets. Well, this is far from fact. Parents are still affecting their kids, be it positively or negatively. I have experiences that have frightened me. <laughs> uh, do you want to share that story? Yeah, yeah, if you, you want to include it. Do you have any childhood experiences that have been detrimental? That's affected you in some way. Well... Emily and I are very fond of the story that our parents scared us with, mostly our mom, where um, we grew up being told by our loving mother, who just wanted to, you know, make sure we were safe, that if you have a sock monkey in your house, um, it will come alive when you're sleeping and kill you in your sleep. And I was told that I was an alien, which is why they called me Allie. Um, and... I can't remember if there's anything really good that corrupted Emily, but, you know. They told me I was from a cabbage patch. My gra I know my grandmother has complained about how similar I am to my mom. I am much different than my parents from when they were their age. Um, you know, they like to think and say, they like to say that I'm, oh, I went through the same thing. They really have not gone through any of the same things that I've gone through. So, whether you liked it or didn't, you're pretty much stuck with the parents you've got. Just think. How will we affect our children's generation, <laughs> and what will they be like? Take this bike!